The weekend attack and killing of four civilians in Quen Bamenda in the northwest region only adds to a November serial killing of civilians in the war stricken southwest and northwest English speaking regions of Cameroon and related spillovers into neighboring regions of the country. November killings include the killing of over 25 civilians in Egbeko village, Manu division of the southwest region on November 6, 2023. The killing of over nine civilians in Baminyang village, Galim subdivision, Bamutu's division of the west region of Cameroon, and the abduction and killing of the deputy mayor of the Bali Kumbat Council on November the 24th, 2023, in the Ngoki Tunja division. We are losing lives for no reason. I think we can say not only has the government failed, but the government is 100% responsible. For this crisis. On est passé à la résistance active. Aujourd'hui, c'est la prolifération. Ça veut dire que ça va crescendo. Like Edith Kawala, Sam Baka, president of the Alliance of Progressive Force Party, says the situation in the regions has seen a consistent metamorphosis from a peaceful resistance in 2016 to an active resistance over the years, and the future in these regions is that of uncertainty considering the proliferation of weapons. Dr. Seymour of the ruling Cameroon People's Democratic Movement, the CPDM party on her part, blames the worsening situation on non-state arms groups and political actors who, according to her, encourage non-state arms groups in their outings and opinions on the crisis. President Edith Kawala and Sambaka say the situation lies in a genuine and inclusive dialogue which can only be initiated by the CPTM-led government in Cameroon. Dr. Simo, on her part, says the killings will end if there is a broad-based and general condemnation from Cameroonians from across the board.